kitu jambo mtazamaji na karibu tena kwenye awamu nyingine ya kipindi cha The Hustle. Hii tunasema ni show ya mwanachi show ya mwanachi sababu leo tunakupeleka moja kwa moja hadi mtaa wa pipe ukipenda pipeline na tuko ndani ya stage mpya na tuko ndani ya Candy Milk Shop ambapo tunakutana na mwenyeji Mr. Samuel Njomo ambaye anaenda kutuelezea mengi kuhusiana na hii biashara jinsi ya kuiwekeza jinsi ya kuibust haya basi tusemeje njo tusome mengi kuhusiana na hii biashara mimi ni Tabitha Mhoni nahodha wako kwenye hii edition Milk is a compulsory accompaniment in tea for most people with its nutritional value and high demand, it has provided a market gap, leading to a lot of people venturing into the business. And it was back in 2014. I was working at a place and I was a shop. But by then, I was a shop and a shop and a shop. Yes, and a shop. And a shop and a shop and a shop and a shop less than 10 liters per day. But the first day, I was a 20 shillings. Twenty shillings for the whole day. Nilianzia nilifungua saa kumi na moja asubuhi. By saa nne ni kifunga job. Nilikuwa ni meuza twenty shillings. Twenty shillings. Nasa sa ushano na mazwa ya koyote. Nilikuwa metumi ya pesanga tu kunonia mazwa. Nilikuwa ni meunua fifty liters. Nilikuwa kwa fridge. Nilikuwa tu naomba mungu tu yoy mazwa tu isi aribike. So far I sold that milk for I sell I sold that milk for four days. Four days. Na niliisha. Nilifurahia sana wakati niliuza hizo siku nne na ikaisha nikasema tu Mungu ni mwema haikuharibika. Sasa siku ya kwanza ukaenda na faida ya 20 bob peke yake. The whole day nilichukua 20 bob. Ni mtu mmoja tu alikuja akanunua mazao ya 20 bob. Na hiyo ilikufanya usikiaje kama mtu mwenye anaingia kwa biashara. Nilikufa roho. Nika nyewe nilikuwa nilirudi chini sana mpaka nikaanza kufikiria hii business nitaiacha. But as we as we went on, biashara tienda ikishika tu pole 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 pole. Siku ya pili, siku ya tatu, ba siku ya ine, ni kamaliza hizo lita fifty liters. Sasa ni kanga kuhiti shere twenty liters, thirty, forty. Kidogo 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 kidogo. 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 According to the Kenya Dairy Board, milk intake in the country for the year 2019 rose from 56 million, a drop in April and May, at 41 and 48 million respectively, but saw a surge up 60 million in August. Looking at the production numbers, 2017 data from the Kenya Livestock Research for Rural Development, Kenya's dairy subsector contributes about 8% of gross domestic product with an annual milk production of 3.43 billion liters. These could be milk from cow, goat, camel or sheep. Globally ranking, Kenyan milk production is only 3% of the 18% global production by Sub-Saharan Africa. What pushed you? Useme ati hi kazi na na simba ya nitendelea kuifanya. Labda ukuna kazi zinuno luko miangaleo kasema neza pata kazi ya mjengo, neza fungwa hoteli mahali nifanya. But what pushed you? Ikafanya useme nitastiki kwa hii bizi na angwa maziwa. Ok, mini lisema tuwacha ni malize hii maziwa kwa sababu nisha itisha sita imuaga. Nikasama watu wacha ni malize, ni kimaliza, ni tafute bizi na ingine. Kwa sababu nilikuwa ni mekua disappointed. But wakati nianda kumalizia, ni kama hiyo siku ya musho kasto mwaka kuwa wengi, nona. Hii nikaona hii kumbe hii bizi na ina yaza shika. Nikaitisha 20 liters. Hiyo 20 liters, the following day, hata hii kutosha watu. Nikaena ni kiongezi. Na sasa maziwa yako, uwa wakati, ulikuwa natuwa wako? Kuna natuwa moranga. Kuna mtu alikuwa na niletea kutoka muranga. Na ulikuwa na stoma hali unauzia? Apana. Ulikuwa na uzia wapi? Nilikuwa na uzia, nilikuwa na shop. This is the same shop. Ah, hapa tu. Hapa tu. Nilianzishia tu hapa. Hapa ndiyo nilikuwa na nachotea watu, na kalita. Kama ningetaka kuyanzisha hibi ya shara. Semeneza, anzisha na pesangafi. Na besides hela, nini nyingine na itaji kuwekeza hibi ya shara? Okay, lazima uwe na pesa. Lakini si pesa mingi sana. Lazima uwe na kitu kama freezer. 
deep freezer ndio ya kustore maziwa maziwa lazima ikae kwa fridge the deep freezer naweza ipata na kama how much okay there are, kuna hizo za second hand naweza pata like that k and below wow. na kuna zingine za ze mpya mpya unaweza pata na 70k kutegemea na size yenye unataka unataka sasa hata before tuendele kwa hizo vitu zingine mm. unajua Samuel mimi ni mse kwa siku labda tunaweza afford kama 100 ni save 200 mm. ni save mm. at the end of the month ni kwa na 200 ni save mm. aso na nitaja story ya that k hapo mm. nisaidie plan yako ulikuwa umesavage savings zako mpaka zikafika 30000 okay see i see kwa na that k at once uh -huh. okay nili msiku na msali niko peshe uh -huh. nikaanzisha business na nikachukua hiyo freezer uh -huh. okay wakati nilianzisha hata hiyo ya, ya kuanzisha kununua maziwa yenyewe hata ni yomsi yetu alini aliniwekea mm -hmm. alinipatia nikanikanunua stock ya kwa ya kwanza uh -huh. eh ni sababu ndio niliamka uh -huh. eh kibiashara mkopo ni njia nzuri ya kuwekeza yeah, biashara eh? yes. ya ku start business Kusa, business na wewe uki na wewe tu na na hiyo moyo ya kunini uh -huh. eh, kupressure tu uwe na ukiwa na hiyo passion uh -huh. kazi utafanya sasa so far mpaka mali umefika Sam mm. najua umekumbana na mambo kadha wa kadha mm. na nimeona pia umejua kufanya value addition uko na maziwa mm. ya kupika chai mm. na pia nimeona uko na yogurt mm. umeongezea keki hapa na pale nini kingine uko nacho tunatengeneza nini yogurt uh -huh. tuko na product ya yogurt uh -huh. like uh, kama hii ni strawberry nyinyi ndio mnatengeneza uh, tunatengeneza na hii wow. ni vanilla very sweet uh -huh. very sweet sasa hiyo ndio value addition yako. Yeah, na kuna mala. Aha. Yogurt per liter kutoka yetu ya kujitengenezea. It's very cheap. Ni kama 150 shillings per liter. Aha. Na mala ni 100 per liter. Tunauza half price ya venye zinauzagwa kwa kwa hizo packed. Eh huko kwa supermarket eh. Yeah. Sasa back then ulikuwa unalia maziwa yako huko Moranga. Mm. Na sasa vile umejoy value addition bado uko na hiyo time ya kutoka nje kuendea. Okay, sasa hizi nachukua kwa kampuni hizi kubwa kubwa kuna kampuni kama Demka ndio ni ya kutoka Nyeri kuna Slopes kuna kampuni nyingine inaitwa Kinango au ndio wanaitaka maziwa yenye quality nzuri yeah so kwa for now anakuletea how and day wanaletaka paka hapa na kuna wale watu ambao unafanya nao kazi mm. ama kazi yako imegawanyisha kiveko sasa hizi niko na watu wanafanya kazi niko na vijana watatu ndi kuna outlet zingine mbili nje hii this is the third one na yote iko na vijana wa kazi lakini hii ndio mama yao hii ndio bis hii ndio mama yao eh eh sasa ukiwa na those two other branches zenye hmm. umefungua ziko wapi by the way okay ziko within pipeline hapa uh, stage mbili yeah. oh okay ah. sasa kuna hao wafanyikazi ambao umeweka hmm. ana sabelo menoga biashara imenoga hmm. sasa so msemetu wewe ni boss wewe ni source man sasa <laughs> wafanyikazi wako ni watu wenye unawaleta au unawa train ama ni watu hey. wanakuja tu na training training, training ni lazima eh, lazima mtu awe atrainiwe na afanywe interview lazima awe msafi usijua kazi ya maziwa lazima awe msafi ya kitu kama hiyo tena si mtu mlezi kama ni kuamka ni mapema kufunga ni late unaona lazima anakuwa awe mtu active sasa hiyo mapema ni saa ngapi yenye wanafaa wa mke Okay kufungua tunafungua 5:30 the uh -huh. morning ya yeah. uh -huh. na kufunga ni saa 4. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Na sasa huwa some of your frequent customers. Mm, wako kuna uh -huh. frequent customer kuna customer wa, kuna customer yetu lianzisha nao still wako. Ya uh -huh. yeah. size kuna customer na kuna customer wengine wapi ya wengi. Na sasa umeweza ju sustain hii biashara yako such that watu wanakujua kama Samuel wa Kandi mm. how have you been able to Okay. Keep the market going. Kwa maziwa ukitaka kujulikana na ukitaka kuuza maziwa you must sell quality. Kama utauza quality customer watakuhepa tu. Mm -hmm. yeah, automatically watakuhepa. Ukisikia maziwa ni mbaya weka kando. Enda hasara ya hiyo siku. Maziwa mzuri kama ni mzuri uza hiyo mzuri. Kama ni mbaya wachana nayo. What are some of those conditions zenye maziwa yako unafaa uiweke ama uitunze? Mm -hmm. Sababu najua yenyewe ikiharibika imeharibika hiyo ni hasara. Mm -hmm. uh, sasa conditions gani mtu anafaa zingatie? Condition la like, kuzingatia lazima usafi, hiyo maziwa isiwe contaminated. Ndio isiharibike. Kitu kingine mwenye anafanya kazi asiwe na ujanja aweke maji. 
sababu hiyo ndio reason inafanya watu wangu kuwa biashara ya maziwa wakiwa na watu wa janja wanjanja na kuwekea maji customer will disappear automatically kuna mtu anataka kununua maziwa maji maji so we as candy we sell quality na sasa kuna wale watu wenyewe nimesikia wanaweka dawa ya mochari kwa maziwa ati ndio aki aongeze maji eh mm. lakini akiuzia customer bado iko mzito kabisa customer kienda kupika chai kwa sawa ni tamu kabisa mm. sasa hao watu wenyewe wanaongeza vitu zingine kama hizo zo kochokocho mingi yani zinachafua tu hata maziwa tu yenyewe okay. unaweza sema ati kusiana na hiyo 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 hizo hizo ni poroji dawa ya mocha leo ukiweka kwa maziwa maziwa itaganda instant instant hizo uh -huh. vitu ukiweka hizo takataka zinaweka kwa maziwa ukiweka kwa maziwa maziwa instant inaharibika maziwa inakuwa sensitive sana uh -huh. e, na ukiweka hizo vitu zinaganda so maziwa yenye kuna dawa zinaweka kwa kampuni kuna zile kampuni zinaweka dawa kampuni kubwa kama Brookside uh -huh. lakini sisi kwa dawa hamfu zikuwa za mocha zinakuwa preservative as we kuguru but yet we know from the farm direct and on that note tunachukua a very short break tunarejea na mengi mengi zaidi kuhusiana na hii biashara ya maziwa Alright, karibu tena. Very warm welcome back to the Hustle Break. Na sasa Mr. Sam nataka atueleze mengi kuhusiana na hii biashara. So Mr. Sam mimi nikitaka kuwekeza hii biashara eh. Kuna ile legal requirement yenye inahitaji. Najua hii Kenya yetu ama wacha tuseme kote mtu anapotaka kuwekeza biashara lazima kuwe na zile legal requirements kulingana na hiyo state yenye unaishi eh. Sasa kuweka hii biashara ya maziwa mahali kama hapa nini mtu anahitaji kama legal requirements okay kuweka biashara ya maziwa mm -hmm. lazima uwe na barua kutoka kwa Kenya Dairy Board mm -hmm. na barua ya medical certificate kutoka kwa County Council of Nairobi mm -hmm. eh, ndio ukihandle chakula ene business, business yote ya kuhandle chakula lazima uwe na barua mm -hmm. kusisi ukiletea watu magonjwa mm -hmm contamination contaminated yeah mm -hmm. how much certificate it's expensive mm -hmm. the certificate ya dairy bond ni 6k na about per year per year uh -huh. na hiyo barua ya nene ya medical certificate ni 5k haya basi sasa ile siku nzuri yenye candy milk shop wameuza kuuza tena sasa tunaweza mnaweza angukia wapi ile siku nzuri na pia ile siku mbaya Okay the skin tunauzaga vizuri sana ni siku ya Sunday. Uh -huh. Sunday tunauzaga about 6 to 700 liters per day. Wow. Uh, na sasa tuseme money waisa. Eh? Unategemea sasa na ile rate tunauza nayo ba hiyo kwa wakati. Kwa hivyo inabadilika. Maziwa huwa inapanda bei na shuka bei. So ikipanda bei sisi sasa tuna na no, sisi tunapandisha. Mhm. Mm sasa tuseme tu ile tu siku nzuri. Acha tu tuingize pesa hapa. Tunaweza ingiza kama 10,000 hivi. Tuseme kwa eh kwa ule mtu mwenye anasema, "He, yenyewe hata mimi naenda kwa bank fulani, wanisaidie mkopo, niweke business ya maziwa kama ya ule mjama." Eh. Mm -hmm. Eh inaweza fikisha baka kuna siku tu tunapataka wakati biashara ilikuwa imeshika vizuri. Unajua mm -hmm. surprise naenda kazi naenda chini. Mm -hmm amekiki paka profit ya 12k to 15 wow hiyo ni kama the, ile siku imeshika vizuri uh -huh. uh, like sundays uh -huh. yeah na hiyo ni holidays for that part watu wako kwa 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 estate wako wengi kwa estate yao wajaenda kazi na hiyo ni kama ushato wa rent expenses kila kitu per day umelipa afanye kazi kwa hivyo it's not a bad idea if you want to invest in this uh, milk business Aya basi sasa ile siku mbaya yenye haujauza yenye maziwa yenyewe imejaa tu kwa freezer hata watu hawajisikia wa, wanapita tu niaje huko tu siku kama hiyo umetengeneza kanga ngapi okay hiyo tunauza kama kitu kama 300 liters 300 liters na kwa tumeuza chini sana hizo siku nakuwa ni kitu kama siku kama Christmas wakati watu wameenda ushago. Uh -huh. eh, ndio kuna kuna watu watu wameshawa mm -hmm. cha enda ushago. Mm -hmm. Sasa kwa hivyo una work from Sunday to Sunday. Wa, ya yeah, work ni Sunday to Sunday. Daily eh? Daily. Watu wanakunywa maziwa daily. Kila siku. Yeah. Hakuna ile siku nasema leo acha yeah. niende mahali kumziki. 
tuko na shift so mtu akitaka kupumzika tuko na off siko vijana wangu wa kazi wanapataka siku ya off na tena kuna kuna ma shift mwenye ataamka leo kufungua job si atafungua kesho unaona kuna hizo shift so hawachoki sana unawaka je nao masupplies ama pia unawapata aje okay wanakuja ku, kuomba order na si tunawapea tunaangalia quality yenye wanaleta kama wanaleta quality nzuri tunaendelea wakiharibu tunaweka kama because we can't be sell quality. Na sasa quality yako nini na kusaidia ku determine hii ni quality? Customer akisema quality yako ni mzuri, hiyo mm. tuna stick na yeye. Customer akisema kulikuwa na shida, unakaa kando. Kwa sababu sisi tuna listen customer. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Customer is your number one determinant factor. Customer akisema maziwa ni mzuri, mm. ni sawa. Mmoja tu aseme ni mbaya, hiyo ni mbaya. Na sasa tseme kama mtu anataka kusupply hana hizo ma requirements sana hiyo health certificate hana hiyo nini ya kanjo pia mtu kama hiyo bado mnaweza fanya kazi naye hatuwezi fanya kazi naye kwa sababu sasa in resolute issue ni case sasa account council wakuje wapate uko na kuna issue ya ya nini ya usafi ama maziwa iko contaminated nitakuwa mimi ndio nitashikwa kwa kuuza kitu mbaya No, no. Mm. Yeah. So lazima awe ni mtu ame ame yeah. akona certificate zote. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Challenges gani wewe umeweza kupitia? Challenges ni mingi. Kama sometimes customer wana kama kama holidays sana sana customer wanaenda aga unasikia wameenda tu abrupt. Wow. Mzee mpaki kwa fridge. Mashindo eh na hii sasa nitauzia na sasa inabidi yes kwingine unaitisha order kidogo. Oh no, hizo ndizo challenges tunakoka nazo sana. Sometimes usanjua tena biashara ya maziwa, sometimes naenda maziwa ni ile ile tu. Pengine ilikuwa contaminated kwa farm na huku jua hata wao wengine hawakujua kufika hapa chabit. Naenda tu hasara. Ama kama sana sana tukiongea na supplier na kubali kubadilisha sawa. Kuna customer shai nunua maziwa akakurudisha akakwambia maziwa yameharibika tumbadilishe. Biashara ya maziwa lazima iwe na hiyo. Uh -huh. Biashara ya maziwa kununua maziwa na kuharibika lakini sasa uki okay, ikiharibika tunaangaliaga tunaangaliaga imeharibika kwa sababu ya reason gani uh -huh. naweza kuwa ni chupa yake ilikuwa na issue uh -huh. ama iwe maziwa yetu ndio iko na hii uh -huh. so kitu ya kwanza tunachukua yetu tunaangalia kama iko sawa uh -huh. we boil uh -huh. ikichemka tunajua uh -huh. tukiona iko sawa tunaangalia saidi yake uh -huh. pengine chupa yake ilikuwa na issue kama hiyo. Uh -huh. Pengine sufuria zake. Uh -huh. Na sasa tuseme kama issue ni kwenu mna mrudishia pesa ama mna mtafutia maziwa kwingine. Tuko na outlet zingine, tunamwendea kwa outlet zingine. Uh -huh. e, tuna tunampea maziwa. Uh -huh. Atrudishi pesa. Pesa tunakuja kutafuta pesa, but tunakutafutia <laughs> quality yenye unataka. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Aha, na sasa kuna hii book keeping ya record keeping. Yako unaifanya kivipi? Kwa ule mtu mwenye anatazama anasema, "Hey, paka hapo nimeshika lakini record keeping inafanywa namna gani okay ni si ngumu just unaandika e, maziwa yenye imefika kama mimi niko na three outlets kila outlet iko na na book yake 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 na still hapa hapa kwa main niko na record ya zote so ni lazima ni jaze yenye ime, ile record imekuja ile order imekuja na yenye yenye ameuza na profit yake sasa lazima pia mtu atoe profits losses zimo weke profit kando loss kando sana sana kunaka losses losses ni wakati mazoe imeharibika na sana na ka, ka, supplier kikubali kubadilisha tuna tunajua ni aje matuwezi enda loss sana hakuna kunaka loss sana na sasa kwa ule mtu mwenye ameketi pale nje anasema ah Kenya kuna kazi ama nimeenda nimetafuta job mahali fulani sijaget ama mtu tu amemaliza shule amekaa bado anangoja kuingia kule uni unaweza advise aje mtu kama huyu mwenye anasema mwenye amevunjika moyo hana kazi eh, na pia yule mwenye amekaa anangoja kazi ofisi mpate unaweza mu advise vipi eh advice yangu ni okay kazi za ofisi sasa hizi kupata ni nguri okay kazi ya biashara biashara ni venye tu utafikiria bora hiyo kitu uwe na passion uitake kuifanya kwa roho yako 
you can start anything na utafanya. Na sasa in the next five years, Candy Milk Shop, tunawaona wapi? Next five years, tukona, tunataka kujiendea maziwa yetu from the farm. Tunajiletea, badala tala tupe kapuni kama kinango, pakina slopes, pakina demka. Tunataka tuende maziwa yetu, tunaenda kwa farm sisi wenyewe, tunajile, tunaenda tunachamusha kwa pasteurizer, tunauza maziwa ikiwa yetu. Na sasa unatumia which mode of marketing kuji market we mwenye? Ok, marketing yetu mafanya, ok, waka okay, pipeline, mm -hmm. unless u display duka yako vizuri. Mm -hmm. Ok, u display duka yako vizuri yonekane, mm -hmm. kila mtu wakipita anajua, eh, pale ni kuna maziwa. Anataka kujua, ameona duka yako, ameona, eh, hey, duka, duka, na hama wakona maziwa inakaaji. Mm -hmm. Akikuja anunue ajue asikia ni quality mzuri, automatika atakuwa customer wako. Sasa kwa nini umechanganya vitu zingine? Yes, ukona maziwa, ukona yogurt, yu yogurt ni value addition, eh? Lakini vitu zingine kama makeki hivi, soda, mikate, mbono kwa ongezea hivi vitu? Ok, ilibidi tutanganya kwa sababu ya customers. Customer anataka akikuja kama ni asubuhi sana sana. Maziwa huwa wanakunyu asubuhi. Yeah. Akikuja asubuhi anataka achukue mkate, achukue maziwa na achukue from the same point. Mm. Sawa. So, Hapo anataka anakuja anachukua vitu zote pamoja, anaenda kwa nyuma. Badala ya shindi akichafua anachukue mkate hapa, aende achukue aende maziwa huko, hana. Mm. So inabidi akujie pahali pamoja na arudi kwa nyuma. Yeah. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu sana ukiweka biashara weka ile kitu ambayo inaambatana nayo. Inaambatana nayo. Uh -huh. yeah. Asante sana Mr. Samuel kazi nzuri ambayo wewe unaifanya na endelea on that note let's look at a business one could start with as little as 5,000 Kenya shillings soup business soups are healthy besides being healthy they are good business ventures goat and cow soups are very common so how do you get rolling into this line of trade the first thing is to identify a market you can easily access Secondly, how much are the heads going for? Thirdly, how do you bring them to your area of work? Next is the how. Identify what you need prior, such as big sufferers, maybe firewood to cook and three stones, or whatever you prefer. Set up appropriate prices depending on where you're selling at, ensure cleanliness, and maintain good customer service. Haya basi shakua kutoka kwa ngu. Tabitha Mothoni na mwenza ngu hapa. Mr. Samuel Joma, Mr. Kandi mwenyewe. Tuna netena next week kwenye hisho ya mwana inchi The Hustle. Tuendele kuhasa. Weyeah.